Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman's Best Baseball. Full case break, eight box. Pick your team number lucky 13. I hope, hopefully it's lucky. There's the case right here. Here are the people involved in the break. Thanks everyone for getting in. Dennis Schroeder, look at you. That Laker Spurs on in the background. Eight box, pick your team 13 on Wednesday the 30th. Thanks for spending a bit of your, uh, your Wednesday with us. I guess ho holiday weekend with us, New Year's. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy holidays. Let's pop this guy open. We are turning a corner on this year and in the pandemic, so. Hey, thanks for, thanks for a good year. I'm glad people, people discovered us, discovered Jaspies, and discovered the hobby, and hopefully we'll be having a little bit of fun in these, uh, these trying times. All right, you see all the boxes stacked up right here. And here we go. This break takes about 30, 40 minutes. I'll do a, a quick little uh, autograph and low numbered card recap at the end. So if you're watching the replay, if you don't want to watch the whole thing, you can fast forward all the way to the end. Good luck, everybody. I'm starting to get a little more, uh, a little more action in baseball transactions, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, the Padres have been making a lot of big moves. You Darvish and Blake Snell, Blake Snell and Darvish on the top of that rotation. And they'll get Clevenger back after. I think he's Tommy John, right? So eventually, they'll have Clevenger in that rotation. And still have. Of guys like Chris Paddock on that in that rotation too, so it's gonna be very interesting. They got the bats and they've got the arms. I guess relief pitching they might have to shore up a little bit. Dangerous team. Dodgers need a little adversity though, I think. My that's my team. Dodgers could use a little adversity. Alright. Good luck everybody. Thanks for getting in. All card ship. Carter Keyboom. For Jack B. There you go, Jack. Nice. There's our first of four autographs. Joyce Lewis for the Twins to 150. Actually, twin stuff is, is donated, actually. We got Dylan Cease for the White Sox. Eric J. with Dylan. Wow, Joe Christian checked the futures odds a little while for the World Series. They have the Dodgers at five to one and Padres at eight to one. Wow. I wonder what they were like a week ago. Do you happen to remember, Joe, what they were a week ago? There's Nick Gonzalez for the Pirates, Michael Coons. I mean, Padres had to be like fifteen to one a week ago. Twenty to one, maybe a week ago. Be one more autograph. And it's Jordan Walker. Nice. Two out of 25. Atomic Refractor Jordan Walker for the Cardinals. That's for Joe Christian. Last spot mojo. Nobody wanted the Cardinals, Joe. They were just sitting there. I think he's supposed to, someone was saying in the chat he's supposed to be a pretty good prospect, too. His corner infielders are supposed to be pretty good. Future bets. Justin Dunn to 250. All right, next box. Joe, Joe Christian saying he doesn't remember, but the Dodgers have been tops for a while. The White Sox odds dropped to 14 to 1. Interesting.
The win total game will be fun once those numbers are released. Maybe in a couple months. I'm suspicious with the eight to one for the Padres, though. I feel like, I feel like it's almost, it's almost like that's what the books like. Every time I feel like that's what the books want you to do, is to take the Padres. And it's like, hmm, what do they, what do they know? They're either, they are, they're a for-profit business. Probably could get a lot of a lot of square money on that eight to one. So that's almost what I feel like they want you to do. All right, second box. We got Nick Solak for the Rangers. That'll be for Joshua B. There's Tim Anderson to 250. That'll be for Eric J and the uh, White Sox. Remember, all card ship, folks. Everything you see here will go to their respective teams. Tyler Soderstrom. A's. Joshua B. Two for two on the autos. He's heating up. That's Luis Robert. And Pirates, Nick Gonzalez for Michael Koontz. And there's Brett Beatty for Ryan G and the New York Mets. Joe Adele, 250 Halos. That'll be for Aaron Pettit. There's your four autographs right there. Next box. Joe Christian saying they, they know they'll take in tons of money on both LA and San Diego. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be. LA is already a pretty public team. And one's guaranteed not to pay if they have a chance to play each other in the world, so it'll be a little different because then people can hedge out. It's exciting, though. Now, I'm a Dodgers fan. I'd like to see what what the Dodgers do in response. I mean, Dodgers are still pretty deep. They're still a team that won the World Series. You know, they've got pretty much the same team coming back. You can you can even argue that Bellinger had a slightly down season. Maybe Corey Seager cools off a little bit, but but still, those guys are still there. They can get Julio Urias and Dustin May if, if they take it, take a, the next step in their careers. Could be pretty interesting. We got Jaron Duran Duran going to Josh Proust and the Red Sox. We got Logan Webb, Giants, Joshua B.
Al Ripken, fan favorite. And the Aristides Aquino, franchise favorites. Aristides Aquino, rookie autograph for the Reds. David Chan with the Red Legs. Joe says they need to talk to Pittsburgh about their number one arm. Pittsburgh would trade away their mom if they could. That's my dad's squad. Horribly run organization. Yeah, what are the Pirates doing? That's Patrick Bailey. I mean, I get that. I don't know the that Archer move was was not good. I get moving Josh Bell, but I mean, what did they did they get good players back in return for that? Patrick Bailey goes to Joshua B and the Giants once again, my rivals. What's that front office doing? That's such a beautiful stadium. It's a beautiful park. I mean, at this point, I mean, you gotta, you probably have to move Joe Musgrove too, right? Try to get something for him, rebuild. But are you trusting? Are we, are we trusting that front office to rebuild that, rebuild the Pirates? There needs to be some October baseball played in that beautiful ballpark. That deserves some national attention. Yeah, I've never been, Joe. I, Joe saying we went a few years ago. I gotta go. big plans for a, uh, a Cooperstown trip. I've never been to Cooperstown. I have a big plan for a Cooperstown trip either spring of this spring, earlier this spring, or next spring. But the pandemic kind of got in the way. So it might be a minute or two before I'll be able to get out there, but... More Giants, Mauricio Dubon. That'll be for Joshua B. Casey Mize to 250. Tigers also doing a rebuild. Uh, Casey Mize, Spencer Torkelson probably going to come up in a couple years. And there's Nick Solak, Texas Rangers, Joshua B. He's heating up. We got Cameron or Carmen Lodzinski. Speaking of the Pirates, that'll be for Michael Koontz and the Buckos. And uh, wow, 55 out of 99, Jason Dominguez autograph. He's got a nice auto. That's, that's hashtag good for the hobby. Matt Lieber with the New York Yankees, the Bronx Bombers. With how big his hype is, even if he's only 75% of the hype, it'll still be pretty wild. All right, we are halfway through this break. Got about another 15, 20 minutes to go in this break. We've got a basketball break coming up after this. Um, pick your team 50, and then pick your team 51 is already down to 12. We could probably knock that out tonight as well.
Yeah, Co Cooperstown is Western New York. I actually don't know where I would fly in. But would I fly into New, New Syracuse, maybe? Or New York and rent a car? I'd have to. I think I'd have to rent a car anyway. Maybe is Pittsburgh kind of close. It's all in the same area, right? So could wrap a Cooperstown PNC Park trip. All right, another box. Good luck. And there's Franchise 2020, Jordan Alvarez die cut to 50, and Brett Beatty back there for Ryan G and the Metropolitans. And Brian Reynolds, 106 to 150. Yeah, Sam Strayer's here pointing us. Pirates really haven't had a team since the late 80s to the early 90s. Well, th there was that one McCutcheon year where they went to the playoffs, right? Maybe that was just one. It was just that one year. There's Kyle Lewis to 150. That goes to Steve Wright and the Mariners. Torkelson for the Tigers, Joshua B. And Zach Deloche, Mariners. That'll be for Steve Wright. And there's Tim Anderson, our fourth autograph of the box for Eric J. and the White Sox. Yeah, Pirates actually are having a pretty nice break, Pat. There's Tatis Jr. right here as well. Three boxes to go. That's right, they were lost that wild card game, Pirates did. But that, that I don't I, I don't I don't want to belabor this point to Pirates fans. They already know. But the Chris Archer deal was was bad. It kind of made sense at the time with just how how Archer's contract was structured and what his ceiling could be. You know, and then, uh, and then it just didn't work out. I think he was just ineffective and or injured often by the time he was in, in Pittsburgh. And then to see guys like Austin Meadows play play as well as, uh, as he has been, it's kind of rough. I feel like they moved. Who were the other guys that went to Tampa Bay with that deal? The chain, the chain, Baz, Baz, go, go there, or is it someone else? Tsutsugo and Antonio Cabello. Savannah, ooh, nah, nah. That goes to Matt Lieber and the Yankees. Oh, Glass. I think it was Tyler Glass now. There's Justin Foscu to 250. Rangers, Joshua B. Owen Casey for the Padres. That'll be for Alex V. And 
and Jeff McNeil for the Mets, Ryan G. Is it Cassie or Casey? You think it's Casey maybe with the I right there? Wait, Owen Casey was traded, says Pat? Which deal, which deal was he part of? And there's JT Real Muto for Kyle D and the Phillies. Is it Cassie or Casey? I don't, how, do you, how do you think you, they pronounce it? Kaisi? <laughs> there's Bellinger to 99. Wes Matthews with 15 points in All right, two more boxes to go. Eight autographs to go. Oh, so he was he he was part of that Darvish deal. Went to the Cubs, Owen, Owen C. Wow. West Matthews six for six from three. We got Lakers Spurs on in the background. Ten minutes left in the fourth. All right. Second to last box. Once again, eight autos to go. Four in this one. Four in the last one. Hey, he checked. Shoot another three, West Matthews. We got Zach Deloche. Steve Wright with the M's. Bulls on parade. Nolan Arenado, 250. Zach Deloche, get it? Never mind. Everson Pereira. For the Bronx Bombers, Matt Lieber. Ooh. Nice. Nice Nico Horner rookie autograph. That's pretty cool. I like those those US flag cards look pretty sharp. That goes to DMAC, Darren McKenzie, and the Cubbies. Four out of 99. Nice. You might see a lot, ton of playing time. As the Cubs are officially rebuilding, it looks like. And another Aristides Aquino for David Chan and the Reds. Final box, final four autos. Good luck. This is uh, Pick Your Team 13, 2020, Bowman's Best Baseball. Tyler Brenner, yes. I am all caught up on The Mandalorian. In fact, everyone should be by now. It's been, a, what, a week or two since the season finale? I've, I've been watching every Thursday night, basically when it hits midnight on the West Coast. <laughs> 
We, we, we get Mando. LeBron suck at 22 points. Yeah. Where should I put these? All the donated ones. Mm, I don't know. Just put, them in, just put them in like a bucket. The twins donate and we'll figure it out later. Two more points, LeBron. Come on. Come on, LeBron. Hopefully they don't take him out. Kind of. It's like 100 to like 85 or something like that. 104 to 85 or 86 something. But yeah, this season of Mando, pretty good. I was kind of wondering where they were going to go with it throughout the throughout the year. And then the last few episodes were really fire. They were awesome. Now it'll be interesting to see what's going to happen next year with The Mandalorian Season 3, what kind of adventures he's going to go on. Joe, you've never watched a single Star Wars movie or spinoff? That's surprising. How, how, how did you manage to avoid that? Unless that genre is just not your thing, then I, I, I get that. There's Owen Cassie again, 46 out of 150. He's a Cub now. This will still go to the Padres, Alex V. Yeah, yeah. If you can't get into the space stuff, then, then no, I don't, I don't. You're not missing anything. Then there's Austin Wells. Yankees, Matt Lieber. I will recommend one movie to you though. There's Blake Snell to 150. Um, I think Casuals. Or even if you've not experienced any Star Wars before, I would watch Rogue One. I would watch Rogue One. It's, I think it's. I think that's a pretty good standalone movie where you really don't have to know too much, but you can enjoy it just as a standalone movie. It's on Disney Plus. Brian Reynolds, 46 out of 50. Well, if he's into westerns, Tyler Brenner, then he would love The Mandalorian. That's kind. Of, that's this is a bit of an old, old, uh, old like Clint Eastwood '60s era kind of cowboy moviness to it. There's a good western vibe there. Ooh, a redemption. Any guesses on a redemption for bragging rights? Love westerns. Just watch Tombstone. Rewatch Tombstone again the other day. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. All right, Gams be guessing a Carlson. Louis Robert is the guess here. No, Joe, Joe's more Sopranos, The Wire, Ozark. I love The Wire. Blue Refractor Parallel. T, was that Toronto? Toronto. It's Shun Yamaguchi for the Blue Jays. That's going to be for Justin Fuller and the Bluebirds. So there you have it. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team 13 in the books. Eight boxes of 2020 Bowman best baseball thanks for watching everybody there's here's a quick little recap coming at you pretty nice break i thought all right some prospects some vet players some rookies some jason dominguez was pretty nice some giants some aquinos more giants we have a bunch of pirates in here too i like that uh, that atomic refractor autograph was pretty sharp and carter keyboom at the very beginning there you go boys and girls I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching with me and breaking with me. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.